Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Tuesday the 15th of September. The local media headlines today. It's three months since the killing of an unarmed black man in America by white police on video triggered protests around the world, including in Cornwall. Now, Cornwall's political leaders are planning a new framework of measures to help tackle racism at home. Fewer than 2% of Cornwall's population come from black, Asian or minority ethnic backgrounds. Meanwhile, Cornwall's environmentalists are calling for new powers and money to help them achieve the things that almost everybody says they'd like to achieve. Creating a Cornish office for environmental protection sounds like a good start. And Cornwall reports noticed a developing rumpus down at Mevagissi, where local seafaring fishermen and shore-based anglers are at loggerheads over which of them should be allowed to catch sea bass. Several media filled pages with photographs of that Second World War Spitfire which flew over Cornwall in tribute to the National Health Service. The BBC reported how hundreds of people turned out to catch a glimpse of the aircraft as it made its way south. Pirate FM promoted a new appeal to help injured seal pups this winter. The Cornish Times returned to the new Covid rule of six with hope that it'll prevent a huge influx of patients into hospital later this year. And finally, Cornwall Live tells the story of the Cornish sailors who were shipwrecked and, to prevent death by starvation, ate their cabin boy. This was in 1884. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.